I, uh, I just want to speak a little bit to you because uh, it's only a handful of us inside the room that actually can follow the proceedings. So I wanted to tell you about what was going on in there. Uh, we opened and uh, we talked about Julian's political opinions and his political motivations. And they are clear and they're unchallenged, which is to expose state criminality. And what happens when you expose state criminality? The United States has taken a political, politically motivated prosecution against a journalist because he exposed them committing crimes. And so what's going on inside this courtroom is to determine how the extent of the cover-up. How is this court going to deal with this case? We heard that the case was only brought after the United States said uh, that it would do anything to prevent the International Criminal Court from examining an investigation into uh, US activities in Afghanistan and of course WikiLeaks evidence um, in the publication that Julian's indicted over are part of that case. WikiLeaks has been used as evidence in uh, the European Court of Human Rights and other foreign courts to expose state criminality. And the United States is abusing its legal system in order to hound and prosecute and intimidate all of you. What's at stake is the ability to publish the truth and expose crimes when they're committed by states. The outcome of this hearing today will make it clear the extent of the cover-up. The only fair, I, I shouldn't even talk about fairness at this stage, because the country that's trying to extradite him plotted to murder him. What are we even entertaining in these courts? How can any um, how can you how can you even entertain this hearing, knowing what we know? It's all on the public record, and yet it continues. It's only a handful of us in that room, but you know what the stakes are. You understand what this is about. It's about you, it's about us, it's about the public's right to know. It's about the right to be able to speak freely without being put in prison and hounded and terrorized by the state. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you.